Hello everyone, it's Greg Pellegrin with SmileSnap here with this week's installment on virtual consultations in the dental industry. And today we're going to focus in on expectations versus reality. So three years ago when the pandemic really took off and dentists and dental specialists found themselves in a very unique predicament where their practices were being closed, virtual consultations really exploded. And because of all that chaos during that time, Unfortunately, the whole concept and execution of a virtual consultation got very muddled. So I'd like to take a moment today and really try to clarify why virtual consultations make sense. Remember, we're trying to move a very antiquated sales process in dentistry to one that is more efficient and effective. Um, and in doing so, we want to make sure through this process that when patients are coming in for the first time to your door, to start treatment and get their exam that they are fully educated, they're qualified, and they're motivated to move forward. So let's talk about some expectations. The first one I'd like to address is that every virtual consultation is going to be a success. And that's just not the reality. Remember, we're tapping into a segment of the market that is different. This isn't the low-hanging fruit of patient referrals or doctor referrals. These are your online consumers. These are people who are curious, they're interested, they want some more information before they decide to move forward with uh, an in-office exam or treatment. So in this process, by providing them with enough information, some are gonna filter themselves out. It's not for them and that's okay. That's the beauty of this. We'd rather do it now before they ever make it to the practice. But the upside to it is those that are interested are gonna walk through that door ready to accept treatment. The second expectation is that the Smile Snap widget is magic. That you're just gonna place this button on your website, people are gonna know what it is and what to do, and they're gonna answer all your questions, take great photos, and follow up with lots of great questions and start treatment. And that's just also not true. Um, it does require marketing. It requires a concerted effort, whether you're working with an agency, maybe a freelancer or somebody in house, to set up marketing campaigns and really focus in on the right segment that is um, you know, ripe for virtual consultations. It also requires effort from your team, whether you're doing community events and offering and promoting virtual consultations with QR codes and direct links that we provide you, or your front desk person or whoever's answering the phone to identify who they should be offering virtual consultations to. People who are scheduled for a consult out too far. Maybe they wanna know price up front. Maybe they have a little bit of a fear of the dentist. These are great candidates to offer virtual consultation to. And the third one is that virtual consultations are time consuming. Now, during this process, a lot of people associated FaceTime and Zoom live video chats as a virtual consultation. We are not a fan of that. Trying to schedule two people's time, the doctor, a treatment coordinator, and the patient is very, very challenging. We do asynchronous video where recorded video messages get sent to the patient. And so it really doesn't even require any doctor time. But I also understand that teams can be very, very busy with lots of other tasks. So here at SmileSnap, we do offer a service where we'll do all that busy work for you and it's called SmileSnap 360. So it doesn't have to be time consuming for the practice. And if you'd like to learn more, check out the link in this email where you can schedule a demo of the software directly with me. And we can also discuss SmileSnap 360 if that's of interest to you. Thanks and have a great day.